He's really gone for that one. There's a chance in the outfield. Oh, and what a very good catch. That's a terrific catch there. Glenn McGrath, he is a good outfielder, but he had to go a long way to get there. Vaughan lofted it, thought he got away with it. Well, it was such a stretch that his hands had to separate. A wonderful catch, one of the great outfield catches you'll ever see. That's close, very close. Yes, gone. Bowled in, dragged on. Big, big wicket. Ball is struck again. And uh, Hussey has got to go without scoring. This is a real purple patch for Stuart Broad and for England. <laughs> got in! What a catch that is! Jonathan Tross, a short extra cover, has clasped his hand around that one. <laughs> Bowled in! What a beauty! Broad, five wickets! even better <laughs> that sounded superb and is superb <laughs> that's the best of the lot <laughs> 24 from the over oh that sounded superb that is superb <laughs> down the race and down to the Trom River Uh, a drive now will he come back for the second i think he probably will clark comes back he's going through for the second that's it magnificent adam gilchrist a century the second fastest in the history of test cricket. He loves bowling at this stage of the day and there's been so often that he has got a wicket in the last over, even the last ball of a day's play. Hold him! How about that? <laughs> Absolutely brilliant from Shane Warne. He can bring things into out of nowhere. Magnificent piece of bowling from Warren. He's made a few batsmen look a bit foolish over the years, and there's no disgrace in Andrew Strauss looking a bit foolish, but he did hear real side spin from Warren, maximum side spin, and bowling him behind his legs, not just bowling him behind his legs, but bowling him middle stump behind his legs. Down the track. Away through the offside, Panics after it. Are they going to settle for two? Or is Gilchrist coming back for the third? He is. Steve Waugh loses the strike. He's looking for a single into that leg side. There it goes. Superb play by Gilchrist. There it goes. Fantastic stuff. Steve Waugh, it's the last ball of the day for four. He gets 100. You couldn't have written a script for this day. And it just goes, it doesn't go that quick. He's got good hands as Shane Warne. That's a big miss for him. Huge miss. There you go. Just can't see the problem. That one, where's it gone? Straight in the air, it's another six. Oh, oh what a gawker that shot was. It's baseball. 
and again. Immense and thrilling power. And that's a beautiful stroke with which to make a maiden test century. The last test match of an Ashes series. Hit that cleanly. Madra has picked him up. Late in the day, he's got a beauty through Kevin Peterson. There's another bouncer, it's in the air, it's gone for six, it's a big six, it's gone back miles. Oh, Biggie, straight into the crowd. Oh, hello, massive, massive. Out, 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 that's out. Like that, yes. Look at the finger, the slow death from Rudy Kutzer. Oh yes, that's that. Andrew Flint off is very special. Oh, he's got him, Freddie Flint off. Beauty, yes. Bold him. Short delivery, this is out, oh, he's dropped it, oh, no! Cannot believe it, he had all the time in the world. Giles is down there. And, oh, that looked out for all money, Ponting. I've just been saying what a great hooker and puller he is. Straight down Giles' throat. Oh, dear, this could be expensive. There it is. Wonderful effort, 33 test hundreds, a record for an Australian batsman. Seven in 2006, Tony, a record. Oh, he's got him, he's bowled him, he's bowled him around the legs. Well, that is a huge blow. Oh, that's out too. Yeah, Andrew Flindoff is caught at the wicket. away for four, past Jones, 15 needed, agony for England now. It hasn't uh, been taken, Simon Jones tearing in from third man. Flintoff has his hands on his head. He had to go for the catch, hold on. Hit. And he's found the man now there. Oh, it's in the air.
distance from Australia. What a test series we have got coming up. Thursday, it all starts again. These guys are going to draw breath. But England, back in the series. They've won. News is that the two umpires, Rudy Kutson and Billy Bowden, will walk out to the middle and with great ceremony will remove the bales from the stumps. What a performance from these two gentlemen. It's all time perfect. There it is. England have regained the ashes.